Record-breaking charity golf tournament iPhone 4S released BlackBerry Stumbles. Microsoft tries to recreate Kinect success in a higher high-def standard. I'm Kaylee Mosca, web marketing coordinator with Petra, and it's time for the Petra 5 and 5. I've looked high and low for the five hottest stories of the week, and I can't wait to share them. Petra hosted our 13th annual charity golf tournament this past Thursday, October 13th, and we are thrilled to announce that with the incredible support of our vendors and business partners, we were able to raise a record-breaking $70,000 for Mercy Ministries of America and WizKids. This year's tournament generated more participation than any previous year's event, with more than 150 of Petra's vendors, partners, and employees enjoying a cocktail reception in Texas Hold'em tournament at the Fox & Hound Pub & Grill October 12th followed by a shotgun start golf scramble at Oak Tree Golf Country Club in Edmond, Oklahoma the morning of October 13. The tournament concluded with a luncheon for all attendees with tournament prizes and a raffle. The day wound up with Bill Stewart, President and CEO of Petra Industries, presenting checks for $35,000 each to Nancy Alcorn, Founder and President of Mercy Ministries of America, and Maisie Ross, Director for WizKids. We'd like to thank our generous sponsors for the event, including Sunpack, CE Lab, Monster, Canon, Proficient, Market Solutions, Brown Printing, Garmin, Consumer Technology Publishing Group, Pioneer, Midland, Sanus, Omnimount, Otterbox, and many more. The iPhone 4S has arrived, and the fact that it's not an iPhone 5 didn't seem to hold back demand at all. Some mashing previous sales records, the 4S sold out of pre-order stock with all three of its carriers in the week leading up to launch, selling more than 4 million units in its first three days on sale in multiple countries, more than twice as many as the previous generation iPhone 4 models in the same time period. Said Philip Schiller, Apple's head of marketing, quote, iPhone 4S is off to a great start iPhone 4S is a hit with customers around the world, and together with iOS 5 and iCloud, is the best phone ever." End quote. So who's buying the 4S? According to a survey released by Retrievo, nearly a quarter of current smartphone owners were planning on upgrading to a 4S, including 44% of those with an iPhone 3G or 3GS, and 42% of iPhone 4 owners. Some defectors were also on the list, with 12% of Android users and 24% of BlackBerry owners planning on making the switch to iPhone 4S can't blame them. My husband upgraded and hasn't stopped playing with Siri since. She's really smart, I guess. And pretty. Not that I'm the jealous type or anything. As if BlackBerry customers weren't motivated enough on their own to switch over to the new iPhone 4S, remember 24% were already planning on it according to the Retrievo study, Research in Motion was plagued by a worldwide service outage that left millions of users in dozens of countries without access to email and other messaging services for three days. Caused by a European-based technical glitch, followed by the backup failing as well, the company is now scrambling to restore customer contentment before BlackBerry devotees abandon ship. The company has announced that they will give BlackBerry users a package of free apps, valued at more than $100, as an expression of appreciation for their patience during their recent service disruptions. I wonder if this means that those less patient people that took to Twitter and Facebook with an angry fury don't get the app package, because they weren't so patient. The apps to include Sims 3, Bejeweled translation apps, photo editing apps, Shazam, Encore, Novex Radio Premium, and more will become available for download beginning today with more rolling out in the coming weeks. Business customers will also be offered one free month of tech support. Will this be enough to keep them from jumping ship to the iPhone 4S or Android device? We'll see. Microsoft is trying to catch lightning in a bottle for a second time this holiday season with the Kinect, relying on 75 new game releases to push sales of the system this go round. The Kinect sold 8 million units in its first 60 days following launch last November, and that was with only 17 games available. So Microsoft is hoping that a wider variety of games, including new versions of such hits as Dance Central and Kinectimals, along with new entertainment services available to Xbox this fall, including cable TV and streaming video services that will be controllable and searchable using voice commands and gestures, will further push demand. According to research by the Consumer Electronics Association, 22% of adult consumers in the United States plan on purchasing a game console this holiday season, down slightly from 24% in 2010. Currently the industry sales leader with a 42% market share in September, it will be essential for Microsoft to capitalize on the Kinect's unique selling points to draw attention to the Xbox 360 and maintain a lead during the busy holiday season. You can check out Kinect accessories on the Petra website in the gaming category. The ITU study group has reached an agreement for a new standard for ultra-high-definition television, that will be UHD TV for short, and while products using the technology will take years to become readily available, some broadcasters and manufacturers are already working on products to meet the standard. NHK, a Japanese public broadcaster, demonstrated a screen with 33 million pixels, far more than the 2 million pixels on HDTV screens available today. 
In September 2011, a trial UHD TV link was arranged between London and Amsterdam, and plans are being made to cover part of the 2012 London Olympic Games in UHD TV for screening in public venues around the world. The Christoph Dosch, chairman of the Broadcasting Service Study Group, quote, UHD TV promises to bring about one of the greatest changes to audio-video communications and broadcasting in recent decades. Technology is truly at the cusp of transforming how people experience audiovisual communication. End quote. That's your Petra 5 and 5. Have a great week, and we'll catch up with you next time for more hot industry news.